players in the marketing sector in Nigeria have been charged to re-engineer their strategies to meet up with the evolving technology. This was the focal point of this year's edition of the Industry Summit, which is the fifth edition with the theme Sustainable Marketing for Growth. Galaxy News correspondent Lebi Joseph was there and fired in this report. Professionals from different sectors of the economy gathered at the Industry Summit in Lagos to deliberate basically on the way towards sustainable marketing for growth. This perspectivism is described as timely in lieu of the emerging innovations in the marketing business. Speaking on the theme, the convener, Gaudio Fosse, said the theme is conceived through the strong resolution of the industry magazine team at instituting Innovational Compendium yearly that will effect change in the social economy of Nigeria. Beginning to see corporate organizations, including even public governments, um, talk more about protecting the earth, talk more about um, planting the trees, talk more about um, private organizations, talk more about offering products that are not just for product's sake, but that um, contribute positive to the earth. You see that, uh, we have also seen that government has also banned the uh, stylofilm uh, uh, plates uh, and the rest. So those are the issues that come with it. But it's beginning to catch fire. Um, people are beginning to um, um, adopt the, the, the policy uh, whether they mean it or they don't know mean it, but we are beginning to see the influence. Um, people are talking sustainable living, people are talk talking sustainable education, people are talking sustainable construction, sustainable infrastructure. You don't just build road for building sake. How long will it take? Uh, uh, what happens if somebody fall on that road? Can the person survive? Those are the ways. I mean, that is the in thing now. So The representative of the keynote speaker, Samson Oloche, described how important it is to rejig and reposition marketing strategies to suit the current trend, especially for the real-time saga. More and more brands need to think beyond profit and look at the environment they operate, the people they have to operate with, and um, go beyond just making money to try to make an impact in the environment they operate. And this is now something that is unavoidable because we have data that shows that even the consumers that buy your products are interested in the way um, these companies and brands behave outside of making the product and making the profit. So for the long-term sustenance of any company, it's important to look beyond just making profit and look at how you can do good to the society, to the environment, and um, to the society as a whole. One of the guest speaker, Rita Kao, said marketing is an all-important mechanism to survival and progression of any business, products, and services. She said innovation and infusion of trending dynamism in the field will go a long way at ensuring achievement of desired goals. I'm um, uh, targeted at warming your way into your clients and your consumers' hearts. So while marketing, for example, is trying to get sales for you, Brand communications, on the other hand, is trying to get loyalty for you. And when you are able to get loyalty from your customers, you know what that means. You have more patronage, you have more word of mouth. In other words, even your customers are selling your goods and services to other people and encouraging them to try your services. So the importance of that is if you do your uh, marketing communication very well and it is backed by a good product or service, then it's going to be a win-win situation for yourself and your customers. The representatives of the chairman of the summit called for strict adherence to norms of marketing and ensure non-violation of rules and regulations. He called on practitioners to key into the evolving innovation of artificial intelligence, which he said is gradually becoming the it thing in the world marketing worldwide. So, you know, that before the uh, separation, and those things are now you know, taken into consideration what sort of terms should be in an agreement between the agency and the clients. Uh, these are some of the things that they're not legislating, but saying that this sort of contract to achieve balance. Uh, these are the things that you should have there. Uh, one of such also is the issue of payment terms and saying that we should be looking at a 45 day cycle uh, regarding uh, payments to the industry. So, but he believes that, look, fundamentally, if you 
if you look at reiterating the inflation resolution of the industry magazine to continue to explore necessary avenues to institute change at all times, Guardia Forces said the summit shall continue to get better. Like what we are doing today, by the time we are through today and the communique is issued, you will see some level of appreciation by the audience, by the public, by government, by private sector, by what we are doing. So we are not just here for a talk show, we are here for a serious business because we have been seeing impact in our, in our summit, the impact thereafter in our summit we have been seeing, so it is very, very important. Of course, um, it's like asking me to judge myself. I